Hello, my name is Roger Sines. I am the pastor of a new church plant in the south side of San Antonio called South City Church SA. Tomorrow we're having a United with Israel march starting at 9.30 a.m. at Travis Park in downtown San Antonio. I've been asked the question sometimes, why are you marching in support of Israel? And the answer is simple. When we see evil, we as Christians must rise and speak and act against it. And the evil I'm referring to is the many anti-Semitic protests happening across the country at college campuses and even at synagogues. That's crazy, right? These acts of Jewish hatred have been on the rise since the Israel-Hamas war that started in October of 2023. What is happening in this country is not just about Palestine or the Palestinian people, and it is even bigger than Hamas and Israel. It is a spiritual war of good versus evil. Plain and simple, this is about the hatred of the Jewish people. These are God's chosen people, and Christians should support Israel because God loves Israel. In Genesis chapter 12, God blesses Abraham and his descendants. And this is what Genesis 12 says. He says, I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you, and I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. From the Jewish people came our Bible. From the Jews came our Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, right? We owe them a great debt. And now we must pray for them as a nation and as a people. We must pray for them. Many were silent when this happened only a few generations ago in Nazi Germany. But we cannot be silent now. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, a German pastor and theologian who stood up to the Nazis during World War II, stated this. Listen to what he said. He said, silence in the face of evil is evil itself. God will not hold us guiltless, for not to speak is to speak, and not to act is to act. And we as Christians, we must stand up for our Jewish friends and the nation of Israel, because it may be the Jewish community today who is being persecuted. But tomorrow, it may very well be the Christians, us. So come and join us if you can, Saturday, June 29th, at Travis Park, downtown San Antonio at 9.30 a.m. Hope to see you.